Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be going over some of my beauty favorites. Now I've already done a makeup product favorites video. So these are the non-makeup products. So we have hair care, skin care, body care, and then a couple extra things like eyelashes and brush cleansers, things like that. So if you are interested in seeing kind of my more miscellaneous beauty favorites for this year, then just keep watching. For those of you sick of these 2019 favorites videos for me, this is the last one, I promised. I did just wanna talk about skincare and stuff since I didn't get a chance to do that because it would've been like an hour long in my makeup favorites video. And honestly, there is so much more stuff that I loved this year that I wanted to share with you and of course I picked up a lot. <laughs> so the first type of item that we are going to be talking about are eyelashes. You guys had questions about eyelashes so I threw them in this video. I can't believe I forgot to put them in the makeup favorites but there are three pairs this year that I found myself continually using over and over again. Two of them are from the brand Coco. I love Coco. They're very affordable. I order mine off of ladymoss.com. They're about six seven dollars a pair. My all-time favorite everyday eyelashes are the Style Misha. These ones are worn, but this is what they look like. They are so perfect for my small eyes. I don't need to trim them or anything. I can just throw them on. I like that they are short on the inside and outside and longer in the center. I feel like that really complements my eye shape. And these are just the lashes that I literally wear every Day. If I'm wearing false lashes just out in public running errands or whatever reason these are probably the ones that I'm wearing I wear them all the time in videos all the time on my Instagram my most used and my most favorite are Misha The other one that I like for more of a dramatic lash going out I wore these on like the holidays. This is Queen Bee again also from Coco uh, I got this one because of Katie here on YouTube. She loved these and this was years ago and these are really really nice. Again, these are my more dramatic lashes like going out evening kind of lashes. I love the way that these look. They are a bit black for me sometimes so that is why I only wear them on like really dark kind of eye looks. The last pair of lashes I have to share with you are my Lily Lashes in the style Con. I'll wear these out for every day. These are one of my go-to lashes for Instagram looks. I really like that there are spaces in between the lashes so the lashes individually kind of stand out and these aren't too dramatic but they're dramatic and all the time when I wear these lashes in a video you guys ask me hey like what lashes are you wearing so I go for these a lot too I really like Lily lashes but sometimes I feel like their band can be a little bit painful these ones aren't painful the Coco lashes are a lot less intense than the Lily lashes in case you were wondering and they're much more affordable but I love Lily lashes as well the last kind of of eyelashy thing I have to talk about. If you're gonna buy one thing in this video, this is what I think you should buy. This is New Lash and this is a lash serum. I ordered mine off of Nordstrom and you guys, this is amazing. I've gotten plenty of comments from you guys wondering like how my lashes got so long and for the first time in a while, I will just wear mascara all the time and you can see my lashes and it's really great. I'll post a before picture before I started using New Lash and I wanna say about February or March and then here I am now here's a photo of me with mascara like this stuff really really works so if you're looking to grow your eyelashes I would definitely pick this up I really noticed it in my lower lashes as well which I'm very happy about because I love the look of lower lashes so this is the most amazing product if you're gonna get one thing from this video you need to get this if you want your eyelashes to grow like the proof is in the pudding this actually works I was a little unsure at first but seriously it works tool wise I was going to talk about brushes in this video, but I decided that eventually, within the next few weeks, I will have a full dedicated makeup brush video for you guys, so I'm just going to save that. But I do want to talk about a couple kind of tools. So the first one, this is really dirty, I'm sorry, but the Real Techniques Body Miracle Sponge. I get comments all the time about what sponge am I using. This is Real Techniques. It's a body sponge, but I use it for my face because it covers up like half my face and it makes everything work really quickly. This is more so every day for me. I love a good beauty blender. I like that it's smaller. It's easier to get in crevices. But this for every day, I'm just like 
really speedy spreading my foundation out I love this and I just wanted to talk about it because you guys always ask so this is the real techniques body sponge it's on sale at Ulta right now and then also my favorite makeup brush cleanser this year has been the cinema secrets makeup brush cleanser now this is very very strong very potent it can damage brush hairs if you are using it too often this works best with synthetic brushes. I will occasionally use this with natural hair if it's an emergency, but I try to stick with my synthetic brushes for this because this is a heavy duty brush cleanser. It gets off all the junk in your brushes. I think I love this most for like eyeliner or more liquid products that really kind of stick to the brush and make it very stiff. So this is amazing for that, but this gets out all of the product. Your brush looks brand new after using this. So I typically will only use this for eye brushes because those are the ones that have the most intense pigment on them, but this is amazing. You want to use it sparingly, but if you really got to get that color out, this is amazing. You can pick it up at Sephora. So let's talk skincare. Now I don't speak too too much about skincare on my channel because I have real commitment issues when it comes to skincare. I love purchasing skincare and then using it for like a week and then purchasing another skincare. Like I just can't set myself to a routine. I, I don't know why. I think this year I plan on definitely getting more consistent with my skincare so I can really see how a product improves the skin so I can start talking about it more on the channel. But yeah, I've tried a lot of skincare this year. Don't really remember what my favorite was because none really got the opportunity to like make a difference in my skin because I'm all over the place when it comes to skincare. Skincare is so fun. It's so pretty. It's just an experience and I was all over the place. But these items I would say are my try and true that I really reach for a lot as far as my skincare goes. For those who don't know, I have acne prone dry skin. I don't have horrible acne, but I do break out quite often. Lots of acne scars, things like that. So the cleanser that I was so in love with this year actually really stood out to me. I feel like it really cleaned my skin. This is the Cora's Greek Yogurt foaming cleanser. Now what I really love about this is I feel like it works great with my sensitive skin. It's a very gentle cleanser and it really does clean the skin. I keep this in my shower so every time I wash my face in the shower I'll use this. This doesn't break me out at all. It leaves my skin feeling nice and cleansed and it's just a really good tried and true cleanser. I really enjoy it. I really enjoyed my experience with this and once I run out I will continue to use this. I think for me this is a great shower cleanser but when I was using it consistently as well my skin was very nice so this was a really fabulous pickup if you like gentle cleanser I believe this is also like clean and natural as well so maybe I should look into more like natural skincare maybe my skin likes that also as far as creams go I really love the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream this is my favorite moisturizer this is also a very expensive moisturizer I just got it in a set of like samples but I'm so in love with it I use it very sparingly I think this works fabulous before makeup and not even before makeup it's great for everything Every day but I can't use it every day because it's so expensive but it is so good I definitely want to invest in a big full-size tub of this this year because it's so good it's so lightweight on the skin and I really love how it melts into the skin there's some moisturizers that I feel like kind of sit on top of the skin this doesn't it sinks into the skin and actually moisturizes it's great for every day it's great for makeup but yeah this is a really amazing everyday moisturizer so if you're looking for a good one Charlotte Tilbury's magic cream is phenomenal also her magic night cream this again has a big price tag. However, if you have severely like dry, crackly, painful skin, this is great. In the winter, I find that my skin almost gets painful because it's so dry and this solves it pretty well. It's more of a balm. I don't really like that. It feels really thick and sticky on your face, but that's because it's doing its magic. Yeah, if you have severely dry skin, I know this is pricey, but it is worth it because it takes the pain away and my skin really does feel renewed in the morning whenever I use this. I wouldn't recommend using this too often. One, it's expensive and two, it's just it's a very intense and thick product. I feel like this could definitely clog some pores if you're not careful. But for those emergencies, this is game-changing, life-saving. And then the last thing, this is for my acne people. I have been using this for years and I don't think I've ever talked about it, so I wanted to mention it in this video because I, I went through a few months for when I was really stressed out and my skin was just going 
Wild. This is the Clinique Acne Solutions Clinical Clearing Gel. It's a salicylic acid ma acne medication. I've been using this since I hit puberty and started getting acne. It's just a very intense spot treatment and I really do feel like this dries out the zit very, very well. I've been using this for years. This is one of my like trusty go-to acne products and I totally recommend it if you have acne or get breakouts. This works. I swear, it really does. I mean, it doesn't make it go away, but it dries it out and it speeds up that process. So this is also very good. All right, let's move into the body stuff. So first I wanna talk about a glow oil. A lot of like the body glows were very on trend this year. I fell into that. I loved it. I love how it looks on camera when the lights hits it. This is what I'm wearing right now. This is the Sol de Janeiro Rio Sunset Glow Oil. I like this because it has a subtle sparkle to it, but it's not super glittery like the ColourPop one. I have a few different ones. I like the Patrick Ta one as well, but this one I just think really is my favorite. I like the look. I like the way that it feels. It's not too sticky on the skin after. Like, it does leave a little bit of residue, of course, but it's not bad. It doesn't disrupt my clothing. It doesn't make my hair super oily. So I really like this and I love the smell. The Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream is one of my favorites. I was going to put it in this video, but I didn't. But it's been my favorite for years. So this smells amazing. It adds a really pretty glow and I like the way it makes my skin feel. It also makes my skin feel very moisturized as well. So this is a fabulous one. Three perfumes to share with you. I love perfumes. I love the pretty bottles. And there are three that smell so amazing. So this first one is from Michael Kors and this is called the Midnight Shimmer Perfume. Now this has been my favorite for years. This is my signature scent, I would say. This is my go-to perfume and the bottle is super cute. You can get it at Ulta right now. It's described online as a rich, woody fragrance, sparkling and dewy, jasmine petals, sensual vanilla, and an addictive blend of soft musk captive with a hint of seduction. It kind of smells like a tobacco smell, if you're familiar with the Tom Ford tobacco perfume. Really, really nice. It's a sweet but woody scent. I always get compliments when I wear this. It's still girly, but it's a mature girly, I guess is how I would describe it. Really Really wonderful perfume. I've been using this for years. It's not the most long-lasting, but it is such a good fragrance. The next one, this is the one with the biggest price tag, but it's so unique. I've never smelled a smell like this. This is the Mason Francis Curtijan <coughs> uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 perfume. I know so many of you guys have tried this perfume before. You know what I'm talking about. It's such a unique smell. When you leave the room, like you leave a scent in the room but it's like a really good fresh scent so the notes in this are jasmine saffron cedarwood and ambergris I don't know I feel like I don't know what any of those smell like I don't know if this smells like that but it smells amazing it's such a unique scent it actually smells like the Patrick Ta body oil so if you like the scent of that Patrick Ta body oil this is it in a perfume the scent will last much longer if you buy the perfume so if you smell that, that's what this smells like and it's amazing. And then the last perfume that I've loved this year, you can get it on Nordstrom. This is my favorite scent. Like the Michael Kors is my signature scent, but this one is smells the most yummy to me. This is the Comtois, Comtour, Sud Pacific, whatever. Vanille Apricot. <sighs> the most yummy gourmand smelling perfume. If you like to smell like dessert, this is what it smells like. So the notes are jackfruit, apricot, papaya, vanilla, and sugar candy. Yes, that is good notes, good notes. They did a good job with that. So this is just amazing. You need to smell this, you need to order it. If you like the like, dessert, gourmand kind of perfume smells, this one is the best. It's, I've never smelled a perfume like this because it's vanilla -y, but it's so much more. It's so much better than vanilla. I can't, I need to stop describing scents because I'm not good at it, but <sighs> nobody talks about this and they need to because it is so delicious. Okay, so let's move on to hair care products. Again, I've kind of used the same hair care products for years. I don't really know how to take care of my hair. <laughs> I know that and that sounds horrible, but like I have wavy hair and I'm still on the search for the perfect products So if you have any recommendations for my hair type, let me know seriously I'm on the lookout for a nice curl defining cream something that really fights frizz because I have a lot of frizz in my hair 
So if you can help me with that, hit me up. But these are two products that I've been loving this year. This is the Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler. This is the best detangler I've ever used. I have a few, but you know, when you have curly hair, you lose a lot of hair through brushing it because there's so many knots in your hair. This really does get the knots out. So this has really saved my hair. I've lost a lot less hair in my hairbrush thanks to this detangler. Really is the best detangler. I wish they had bigger bottles for cheaper because this is quite pricey, but I just have not met another detangler that was quite as good as this, so I just can't stop using it. I have to spend all this money on it because it's so good and my hair needs it. And then the next product is from Bumble and Bumble, and I actually only have a baby. This is the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. Really love this. It's a very lightweight oil, so when I do have frizzy hair, no matter what my texture is, wavy or if I've straightened it, this kind of weighs it down a little bit, sleeks everything out. I do prefer this for when I do style my hair like more straight versus is curly. I will put a little bit of oil in my curly hair, but I try to stay away from that. But this does a good job with my curly hair, but I personally prefer it with straight hair. So I really like how lightweight this feels when I'm straighten my hair and I just kind of run it through. It makes everything more silky, I feel like, and gives everything a little bit of a shine without it feeling too heavy on the hair. So really love this. And then the last item that I have for today's video is from Revlon. And this is their one-step volumizing hair dryer thing amazing i find with a regular hair dryer that whenever i try to do it my hair just gets so frizzy like and big this has saved my life this is a way that i can get a blowout without my hair being frizzy it's amazing this is the number one hair tool i have ever ever used it's a hairbrush it gets hot so it is a heated tool but just that pulling down motion really reduces the frizz and i like how i can curl it so that my hair has that blowout effect because i'm not talented with a hair dryer so this is like if you're an idiot when it comes to hair dryers like myself this is amazing again it is a heated tool so i try not to use it too often but most of the time if you've seen my hair where it's more straight but has that like blowout effect it's because I've used that it's amazing and even you know with my textured hair it does such a great job of reducing that frizz and the style lasts for days whenever I use that I'll wear my hair like that for like four days before my hair is so greasy that I need to wash it I mean this is another product you need to buy if you don't have it already that is all I have for today's video these are my beauty favorites that aren't makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and if you love them as much as I do. If you have any recommendations for me, I will certainly love to hear them. I'm looking for new products to try in 2020. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.